I'm Director General of Consumers International. We're a federation, a global federation of more than 250 consumer organisations and, and supporter groups with a global voice for consumers. So our job really is, is to be out there on the global stage fighting to make sure consumer rights in whatever country you're in are being heard, that consumers are protected and that consumers are empowered. It's so exciting for Consumers International to be coming into this partnership with, with Global NCAP um, uh, on Stop the Crash. Uh, it's a real opportunity right now to focus and to say, we can stop the deaths. What a fantastic situation that would be to actually make that difference. Stop the Crash is focusing on three key features that absolutely can be provided now. It's technology that's available, uh, the, the, the electronic stability control, the autonomous um, emergency braking systems, and for motorbikes, the anti-locking braking systems. The same can be put in right now and make that difference for consumers' lives. But we're here together in partnership. We are going to be doing it. We're going to be promoting that message and we want to see the answers come and the deaths stop. Well, it's fantastic news for us that Consumers International are joining the Stop the Crash partnership. Consumer rights is at the heart of the message that we're trying to convey about why vehicle safety technologies that can avoid crashes altogether uh, must be brought forward. They're a key ingredient. We, we, in Global NCAP, we find it extraordinary that manufacturers are willing to apply really very glaring double standards. They're achieving five-star car results, really good levels of safety, way above regulation in some markets, particularly in the industrialized countries. But then the same manufacturers in less well-regulated markets are perfectly happy to tolerate vehicles that only achieve zero stars. That's a level where the risk of fatal injury or serious injury is extremely high, where the cars definitely don't meet minimum UN crash test standards. Uh, major global brands, some of the biggest companies in the world, are doing this. Uh, General Motors uh, have zero star cars, Nissan have zero star cars. Uh, it seems extraordinary to me that companies of such global reputation are willing to tolerate, um, ignore, willfully ignore if you like, the message that NCAPs are showing that the production of such vehicles is uh, completely unacceptable. We're talking about a global marketplace and we're talking about multinational organizations that want to benefit from a global marketplace and from having a global brand. Well, if so, you need to have global standards and actually you need to abide by them country by country equally, especially in low and middle income countries where, where, where consumers are moving from that world of just access of, to actual choice. And actually it's low and middle income countries where we see 90% of these fatalities. So the product looks the same, but actually the product that they're buying may not have those, those minimum safety features. Uh, obviously, as a consumer protection activist, uh, that makes you sick to the stomach to even consider that an organisation would go to the trouble of not providing something uh, on a production line uh, for the same car that is going to have it and just be sold over the border. I can't imagine any justification at all for a life being worth more in one country than another.